everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So at the end of the last episode we were getting the mines to the, the turtles to do some mining. So let's have a quick look at what we've got. So in this chest we've got all of this stuff. Let's quickly sort it. We'll see what we've actually got by pressing R. Anywhere in it. We've got a reasonably large amount. Oh, actually got 16 ancient debris. That's pretty good stuff. We've got two of these bright stones. We, there's not much use for bright stone. And we've got some cinnabar ore. Now cinnabar ore, I so had to use silk touch. So we got the drone, uh, the turtles to stop doing that. We've got a load of gold nuggets. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Around about 10 stacks of gold nuggets. Uh, let's convert the gold nuggets into into ingots because there's less space to transport. In fact, we could actually turn them into blocks, couldn't we? So let's do that one. So let's have a look at the use of it, nuggets. And there's actually quite a few uses of nuggets, four pages of this, but the one we want to use is this one. And simply shift click it into there. It takes a while, it's quite slow to do lots of blocks. And then we can do the, the recipe for this and we can then pick the other one up and finish them off. So we've got one stack and 14. Uh, no, actually a little bit more than that because we've got some more in here too. We've got some glowstone, a flint, and a gravel, and blackstone, and we've also got some nether, uh, yellow garnet, and some sulfurite dust, and a load of nether quartz. Have I got enough space to take the nether quartz? Not all of it, but what we can do is put down the uh, a chest. Um, no, that one isn't going to go exactly, so we'll put down the a shulk box here. And we'll just put some stuff into it. I've got some gold in here as well. That's actually because I, when I was doing the, the mining, I was getting quite a few um, piglins around. And so they have to be, you have to grind the piglins or hide away from them because they are very aggressive. There's one up there, in fact, as you can see. So at the end of this tunnel, we'll find the, the five turtles I was using to do this. So I'll see you back at base. I'm back at base and I've cleared out my inventory and I've got these things in our hot bar. Let's have a quick look at what we can do with this. Sulfurite dust. The uses of this are basically two. One, one real one use is this is just to make some zinc and some sulfur when you put that into the industrial electrolyzer. But we're also going to, let's just do that straight away. The industrial electrolyzer is the one with the box on here. So I can right click that and shove those into that. And that'll start to make Got the right one, yes, good. That'll make those. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the uh, cinnabar ore. And the uses of that are basically to grind it. So if we grind this here, we get these two dusts. And with these two dusts, when we look at the uses of those two dusts, we look again at the industrial electrolyzer. And with one empty cell, we will get a mercury cell plus a sulfur dust, both of which are actually useful, as we, we, as we actually probably already know. So the grinder is this one here, the industrial so we just put those into there and that can work away. So the next thing we want to do is we want to have a look at ancient debris. So the uses of ancient debris, obviously you can smelt it. You can stick it through the blast furnace. Uh, it tells you about how you can mine it with the uh, Industrial Revolutions miner, which I haven't done yet, but we'll find out about that one. And of course, it drops itself, which is fine. Uh, in the pulverizer, it will give you two dust, another scrap dust, which I guess is all doubling in that case. This one here will give with um, some sulfuric acid in the fusing, you can will get one puri ancient purified debris. And the uses of that is will make 144 uh, molten netherite. And in fact, I have to look at molten netherite. It's this one here. And the uses of this one is you will then 36 so basically this is all quadrupling will give you an ancient debris chunk again this is in the uh, industrial revolution stuff we haven't done that yet and then that will pulverize into dust and then the dust you can then smelt so you get into netherite scraps so you will basically get one uh, ingot for one ore which is good oops I didn't look at the rest of those recipes did i uh, let's look at the rest of the rest of the recipes um so the, the next use of this one but us that we can do at the moment is in the industrial where's it gone to the industrial grinder here so with mercury and one of these we will get three netherite scraps plus a gold so that's where we're going to do it so mercury what we do for mercury is it's got two different re recipes let's have a look for mercury um that are actually useful for us 
And the recipe for this is you can, all right, fluid replicator, we can't do that one. There must be another way to do this. Have a look at the cells here, the recipe for these. All right, okay, we get three different ones. Fluid replicator, industrial centrifuge, which is the one I'm going to use. 32 redstone plus uh, 13 empty cells will give 10 mercury. We'll also give three ruby dust and 16 pyrite dust, both of which are useful. But this is also useful, the silicon. Um, the other one you can do is in the industrial electrolyzer with some cinnabar ore. That will do it. And the third one is this, uh, we can't wish we can't do. So let's go and get two, a stack of um, redstone out and some empty cells, which I've got already. So this needs to go into the industrial centrifuge. So we need put, put one of those into there and then 13 cells like that. And that should start to work. Yes, it is good. And we'll get mercury out of here. Uh, in here now, we should have, hopefully, we've got one mercury cell. Uh, I'm not sure why we've got mercury cell. Oh, it's still doing the sulfurite dust. Probably from before when I was doing some. So we're getting zinc and sulfur coming out. I must have had put something else in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got this mercury cell. So I'll be back in a second. Well, actually, let's, before we go, before I wait for this stuff to do its processing, because what I want to do is the salt, is the, the cinnabar. Um, that's what I must have had in there before. I want to have a look at this this bow here. This is a diamond bow from Gate of Babylon, and if you look, press Shift on it, you should see it's got an enchantability of ten. So let's have a look at um, bows. In fact, let's have a look at Gates of Babylon. Yeah, you can also have an, uh, a netherite bow, which has got an enchantability of 15. So this one's got an enchantability of 10, and the gold one's got an enchantability of 22. So that's the most enchantable one, but we can't transfer enchants from one, well, as far as I know, we can't anyway, from one um, tool to another. We can only use books, and I can't find a way of extracting to a book. So how are we doing in here? So we've got 30, nearly finished these. I'll be back in a second when these are all processed. Well, we have enough mercury. Now we can, I've actually got four in here plus 16, and I've got some pyrite dust, and so we must run through twice as it happens. I've got another one running in here, and in here we've got another mercury, and we're probably going to get some more because I've put into here the cinnabar, or it's much slower, the industrial electrolyzer, than other machines. So that's that. So now we can start to process in the uh, industrial grinder. So if we put in here 16, how many have we got? Yeah, 16 of those and 16 of these, we will get out our scraps and our gold. So we've got, so we're going to end up with the 48 nether right scraps, which will give us 12 uh, netherite ingots, which is a good start. So I shall wait for those to finish and see you in a second. That's just finished. So we can take these so we got with our 16 gold we can actually start to it will give us actually exactly one ingots worth won't it so we get four we'll get four gold dust out of that which we can then smelt but i'm not going to do that for now we've got enough gold in here to do it's what we need so we need um 48 don't we so we'll split that into four throw one of those back and then we have our 48 so we can then put these into here so now let's have a look at the use of this it has two uses so we can either make a matter condenser from uh deep mob learning fa refabricated or we can make these and we're going to make the six 12 netherite ingots and now we're going to enchant put one on our bow and then enchant it next thing i'm going to do straight away after i've done this let's put the bow in here let's put in one in netherite ingot now you can do this both ways as from what i understand oh well let's just do that because in here i will probably have a something that's enchanted like a bow this is a fishing rod with a breaking one. I'm not going to use this fishing rod with a breaking one. Uh, I'm not going to enchant it or turn it into another right fishing rod. Um, but you can put into here like that, and then you'll, you'll see here, it actually keeps this unbreaking one enchant. So we can do the same with this bow here. So you can enchant these before you actually put them into another right if you want to. But since this is more enchantable, we will use this one and enchant that. <clears throat> now I need 30 levels, so let's go and get that. I don't need to start moving. I'll move this around between episodes. What I'm going to do is I'll move it to where the enchanting area is. Seems like a more sensible place to put it anyway. So any second now we have our 30 levels. Good. Um, 
and we'll shall quickly enchant this hopefully we get a decent enchant if not then i'll just leave it for the time being and come back and when i've got a decent one power four pretty good so we'll take the power four enchant and we've got quick draw three which is which is really good now i'm not sure whether this is the best bow in the world we could test it but it's daytime so i'm not going to what we're going to do now is we're going to go and start identogistics you will actually may have already noticed i've got some stuff prepared in my bar here for applied energistics um let's just clear away my inventory to start with put the gold dust in here and the netherite ingots also in here we'll put those in there like that i actually got i made two slime blocks because i want to look at some of the stuff we're going to do today let's put that down here actually this is power five and punch two i think this is actually slightly better so um let's get the book out we've probably completed some quests anyway and I haven't, you may have noticed I actually haven't upgraded, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> I don't want to upgrade just at the moment, immediately because, um, oh, I'll click on this thing, because it keeps changing, the thing keeps getting upgraded, or the the pot, the pack keeps getting upgraded uh, almost on a sort of daily basis. So when it's a bit more stable, then I'll do that. So for our Dank and our Dot One, we get 16 pieces of oak. Fantastic. Next one. So for, we get 16 redstone for our eight blocks of redstone. A bit of an unfair reward. <laughs> it's a great one, but we get some good rewards later on. And the same, we get some yellow dye for doing our <laughs> eight blocks of gold. And the next one up here would be the tank mark four, which is obviously eight blocks of emeralds. Fairly expensive. We could also make the blazing backpack. That's another one. What do we get back from this one? We get four diamonds, which is actually not a bad reward but could be better so that's the end of storage for the time i could do a storage upgrade five um and i could do a barrel it up because this one gives us four scraps of uh netherite from an obsidian but we basically have to take an obsidian barrel and put it through there so we don't lose that just lose get four four ingots of gold which is not really neither here nor there isn't it so well, what I wanted to look back on here now, I need to go back in. I want to have a look at applied energistics because I've got 2% complete. And the reason I've got 2% complete is we have to find some charged crystal. We've done that. Now we have to make some fluids crystal. Now to make fluids crystal, if you have ever played with this before, uh, applied energistics, it's actually fairly straightforward. First thing I do is I come along here and turn my magnet off <laughs> because I don't want to pick up the items as I drop them down. So shift right click the magnet there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 16. Now I'm going to simply drop everything in here because it's easiest. Uh, charged redstone and it's nether quartz. So that was redstone, nether quartz and them charged. I hope I've got enough to be honest with you. So we've got this advancement and natural. So let's look at the book of that one because we've, we've completed this all we get four damage for. Didn't it? And that's, that's a nice reward, isn't it? So the next thing we have to do is we make either one an inscriber or a charge it. I'm going to make the charge it. So we have to make it a charging, a charger. So let's have a look at the recipe for that because it's fairly straightforward. So the charger is this thing here. So it is two crystals and some maybe i won't do this actually maybe we'll just skip it for a second and five ingots of iron we'll skip this for a second because the next one we're going to will actually see the pure fluids crystal and the fluids crystal this is basically half the uses of this so the recipe for this one is um a, from a seed and let's have a look at fluids probably easiest if i can type which is one of my problems i can't then you have to make a fluid seed put that into water and then it will grow up into a proper pure so basically one fluid dust will give two seeds now in order to make these seeds grow faster you need a charger in fact that's actually the next quest along if i remember rightly we have to make four of those things so let's have a look at the book again let's go back because I've got plenty of this. So here we have this one here. So this we have to make an energy exception. Now I don't want to do that just yet because it will actually work with the other ones. Oh, we have to make some fluids glass. And we do need to make some fluids glass because we can't do the 
other bit. So let's have a look at the rest of the fluids glass. It's basically quartz, this one here. So you need a quartz crystal plus two fluids crystals. And this is three ground quartz and some glass. Okay, let's just go and grind up the quartz and, uh, and be back in a second. So I've already got enough dust. I've actually put into here uh, some certis quartz and some fluids crystals. I want to grind those up because we can make some seeds for those as well. In fact, I think we probably need about three more of these. We'll put three more of those in there like that. Nether quartz. So we'll grind up those to make eight of the seeds. And what we're going to do now is we are going to um, make the glass up, don't we? So I've actually got some glass prepared. I think that should be in this chest here. Good. 53. So we can then craft that into into these quartz crystals, uh, in the quartz cables or what? quartz fibre okay and then with one of those and two fluics we can make four me glass okay so the next thing we want to have a look at is in the book but we'll we'll get all these quests in one go so that will give us four small tiny tnt which we need later on so the next thing along here is this so we've got to make four four growth and crystal growth accelerators and the recipe for crystal growth accelerators let's have a look at that one as well is this so we need four ingots of iron four quartz glass now that's oh i need more i need some more quartz just for that don't i we need 16 of those smiths we need 20 nether quartz ground up um plus two cables plus a block of fluix so this doesn't cost any more in fact it's actually more expensive using pure crystals than using fluix crystals so we need four blocks of that so let's get four of those done that's five we don't want five like that and this is actually fairly significant why we need these we also need some more quartz so i'm going to just put back into this thing here some more uh another quartz let's get that ground up as well and in here i should have some more another quartz which we've got enough now to make another four of these crystal um cables i think hopefully we have anyway so fine let's find out so we need some more fibers we've got two that will make two more so we need another well actually we'll make it all up because there's no point in not doing so at the moment that'll make five actually it's probably that'll do for now i'm going to make one set if you do because i need this for the for the glass of course you see because we need to make the quartz glass so we can make one of these with the quartz glass like this and put that down and then we can make the crystal growth accelerator i think i know we're just missing two bits of iron Iron's not in short supply. Actually, let's take it from here. 64 iron. So now we should be able to make up the growth accelerator. Like this. We need four of them to get the to get the thing. And it does actually make a difference with four. And what I've done here, I'm going to do now. And I'm going to put down a slime block. Like this. And on top of the slime block, I'm going to put down the energy acceptor. And break the slime block. And we want to have a look at what it's got for features. So here you see it's got a little point. And that little point on the bottom, and it's got a little point on the top too. So that's where the energy goes into it. Um, so let's just see if this works, first of all. I think I might have some gold cable in here. I said think and don't have any as it happens. Uh, I want to get some cable going to the bottom of it. I'll tell you what, we'll put it. I'm wondering where, how I can put this down. <laughs> All right, I'll think about it and I'll come back in a second. Well, we just made some more gold cable and put it down here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a tool. Hopefully we've got some nether quartz with us. No, I haven't have used it all up. <laughs> Get some more. We need five pieces of nether quartz. That's ten pieces. And we'll make a, uh, a wrench. So if you look at the use of the nether quartz, we should be able to make the wrench. I think it's on page two. There's a lot of recipes for this. This happens. Here we go. So another quartz wrench. Very handy for um, applied energy sticks. So we'll take that out. I feel like that. In fact, I'll put those five away. So we have a little bit of inventory space. I've got some dirt here. Oh, of course, because of because I took stuff out of here and I dug some up. 
So now let's plug this thing in here. First of all, we can take use the wrench to break it. That's most life makes life easier. Let's put that up there. As you can see, it breaks very easily. Now I put my magnet on again, so I have to turn it off because I dropped some stuff down. <laughs> yes, that's fine because that will power this this particular block here. We've got some more visitors. Um, they're going to be annoying me. I'll be back in a second. Well, this is actually says devices offline, so I have to use the glass fiber, ca these cables. If I don't use these, it's not going to work. So we have to make the energy acceptor. So let's do that as well. I think I've got enough stuff with it. I haven't checked to be dead honest with you. Let's have a look at energy acceptor. Because the growth accelerator to this one. So we need a fluid crystal, four more quartz glass and some iron. The other one's from the end, so we, we can't get that one for the time being. I should have some quartz glass in here. I have now. Good. And I've got some of these. In fact, it's still grinding up some nether quartz in here, which is fine. So what we can then do is we should then be able to make some more quartz glass. So we want to make this one. Got a shortage of two. We'll make another four. And then we can make the energy acceptor, I think. So yes, one one crystal, so that's fine. And what this does, it's like a transformer. It will transform, trans, transform the energy. Let's just break this up again like this. I'm not sure whether the, my inventory is full. <laughs> Let's just put in something away in here. What else don't I need with me at the moment? We'll put the quest book in here. I'm trying to remember where it is. I'll probably forget. So you can. Put the energy except onto here, for example. I'm not sure whether this wrench will break these cables. No, it doesn't. So we have to use the Techno Born wrench like this. I think we can actually put the energy except straight down here like this. And that should accept power from here and convert it out. And you've got this little output port, as you can see. So I should then be able to put the... Uh, Crystal growth accelerate on top of that. And now it's, it's it's sort of glowing a little bit, so it's online. So we use, it's using the right type of power. Not all the machines need that right type of power. Some of them you can use with standard power. For example, I'll do the charger in a minute. So this is now working. So what we can then do is drop some seeds. So I just need some fluix dust, which is coming up shortly. I'll be back when I've got some fluix dust. Right, we have 12 fluid dust. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these and craft these. We can craft these with some sand, and that'll make seeds. We can get 16 seeds from 8 Certis Quartz. So what we're doing is basically all doubling. Um, let's just do the same for, th for this one. For yeah, like that. So we get 16 seeds for that. And we can do the same with the fluix. And that'll give us 16 seeds. Now what you can then do, if you can put these in water, Let's just do this for a slight example uh, to see the difference between the two of these. So I'll put half of those in water. Let's just, before we do that, let's just turn my magnet off. I forgot to turn it off again. Put half of those in water. We'll put half of these in water and we'll put half of the Certis Quartz ones in water. So they're all sitting there like that. They should not despawn. So here along, we'll come along here and we'll put the rest of those beside this block here. I think probably the best way to do that is to be up block here now this will go faster with the more of these uh, growth accelerators that you have so ideally we want to have four or five in fact you can have five and these crystals should already be growing a little bit faster than the others let's actually go and go and see shall we so if, let's come along here and take these out first of all i know it's only been a few seconds and it needs a little bit longer than this so let's just shift click those so we get those in there and we've also got other ones from here as well i see that some of them haven't grown at all because they've 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 gone together um where's the other ones i'm seeing nether quartz and certis quartz and where's the fluix ones gone to ah here we are actually they've not grown at all <laughs> right i'll do that again and be back in a short while right as you can see if you break a block here you can see that it works fine because it's got these little sort of um electrical pulses i've actually got one left one in here actually i forgot to, i must have not picked that one up i don't want to pick up everything i want to leave the other ones in there because they'll be in there longer then just do that so we have now 
This one's 18%. This one's 20%. Not ready. Not ready yet. Let's just put them down in here. This one is 21%. Or these are 21%. Let's put those down like that. And then seven of these are 19%. And there must be one more. And I think the one more didn't get picked up because I uh, was not in the right block. Anyways, yeah, that's right. I didn't put them all eight in at the same time. That was 1%. So it must have been outside the area. So let's come along here and have a look at these. 0%, 0%, 0%. As you can see, in just ordinary water, it takes forever. Uh, <clears throat> but in beside the growth accelerator, when it's finished, it will pop up to the surface. I'll see you in a few seconds when that's done. So as you can see, now we've got, she's got some Certis Quartz, pure Certis Quartz um, crystals and some fluid crystals. They're starting to rise up, as you can see. And the other ones aren't quite ready yet, but we'll turn the magnet on and pick up everything and see what we've actually got. <laughs> I've run out of space. Um, <clears throat> right, you can see that these aren't ready yet. Let's just put those back up, turn the magnet off again. <laughs> and let's put the ones which aren't ready back into here. And probably this is where she's dropped them on down here, isn't it? So they were these were eighty percent, so they're not far off. But it took about twenty minutes to get this far, I think. What's the state of this one? I think that one didn't drop into the. Uh -huh. So we've got eight pure crystals here. All right, just drop these down here. What I've got is I've got another sixteen seeds ready made up. So we should be able to see those. Am I dropping them in the water? No, I'm not. I'll be back in a second when everything's back. All organised again. Okay, they're back in the water. So let's now have a quick look at making some more of these uh, crystal growth accelerators. So come back here again. We need six of these because we need to make three more. We need some fluids crystals. We need six of these. Now we can use the pure ones. In fact, it chose to do it like that. So we've got now six of those. So then we should be able to make the crystal growth accelerators. So we've got three more of those, and that will actually complete the quest. Um, I do need some more. I do need some more power cables. We'll make those up as well. It says like that, doesn't it? Four. I think that we'll make two sets. We'll take eight, just in case. I'm not sure if we need some. I think we do need some two more pure, pure crystals. So what we can then do is we can put these down. It might well pick up those. So, but what we'll do is we'll put down one of these. We will break this block. It's very slow because I'm a, probably got a bit of... Uh, I thought that might happen. <laughs> they pop up here like that. Then I have to throw them back into the water, which isn't so easy. Look, what we'll do is we'll put down the others first of all. I'm doing this the hard way. Let's turn the magnet back on. And then do this as well. Then we've got the four. Like that. And then underneath, we can then dig it underneath and we can then put... Um, the cables down around it. So where I'm standing here now is there are cables. So we just need to dig these out. Tell you what, let's do see. It's a bit faster. I can just about reach everything. I think one more block there, like that. <laughs> As you can see, everything's floating around. Um, so let's take these cables and put these in slot five. And then just put them down. So we just need them going around like this. We'll put back the one block in the middle where we would like to have the next, um, if we if we ever do it, that is. But for the time being, I'll just, oh, I'll need some dirt. Let's put that into position five and put this down here like that. So that must be a different dirt. Interesting. It does actually look like a different dirt. So these should now be all online. That one's offline. I must have missed a block somewhere. And this one's also offline. That's strange. Why, why is that then? Let's have a look. Too slow doing this way. Oh yes, I haven't put down the cables down here. I'm just missing this one block here. So let's put that back down here like that. And then put the, the cables back into this one. Just highlight it and press five so I don't pick up the other stuff. So now they are on. That's offline. That's offline. So I must have missed another one. Let's just try it down here. Oh yes, I missed this one too, didn't I? So now online, online, good. So they're all online now. So that makes things run a lot faster. Um, dirt, let me put the dirt back onto these ones. 
I want to turn the magnet off straight away, basically. So we'll turn the magnet off now. And you can see the things were doing the little bits of lightning. Okay, now I'm going to put the dirt away into here. So we've got the... That was fertilised dirt. Okay, I don't know where I got fertilised dirt from there. I must have hit it with something accidentally at some stage. So we've got these other crystals. I'll put those in and come back in a second. So as you can see, this one's actually already grown up. Uh, so I just need to go near it. The other ones are underwater. What's happened here? Does that... Oh, put those in. Let's put those in. That. And, it, and they will go a lot, lot faster, as you can see. These are already done. The, the Flux ones are also done. The next thing I'm going to do is to make the charger. So let's have a look at that. So this is one of the reasons for using this. We'll make the, you'll use pure fluid crystals. I think that is a favorite recipe. And this thing you do not need to put down on to air. Uh, it makes sort of sense, doesn't it? You can put this here like this and you see immediately it's got power. So you can put the charger on any of the cables. So now we can take some ordinary fluid crystals, which are in this chest, of course, uh, ordinary status quartz crystals. Just take a couple like this. And then we can convert those into charge. We simply right click that into there like that. And that will then charge up. And as soon as it's charged up, which you can see already, I think that's already done, it'll give you a charged crystal. So now we have a charge set is called crystal. So simply right clicking will take it out. So we've got, did not, not charge up. Didn't look like it charged up. Okay, try that again. It should, it should flash. Now I think that was time. This time it's flashed, as you can see. And now we have two charge at quartz crystals. It's the easiest way. As you can see, this one's already finished. And we should have six. We've got 16 of those. That's correct. We've got eight pure flits we've already used for. So the last item we need to make, or would like to make on, in the, in the pack, uh, from the quest, is have a look at that. Let's look, have a look at what we've got. Let's go back again. So we've completed all of these. So we've got the seeds done as well. We've done this, we've done these. So the only other thing that we would want to do is the inscriber. Because we need that for the ME control. So if we make an ME controller, which is the first step of making any of the things here. So let's just go around. I don't want that. I double clicked it by accident then. So the ME controller is this one. So that needs an engineering press. So we need to find some sil printed silicon and some uh, an engineering circuit. So we need to do this in the inscriber. So the recipe for the inscriber is fairly straightforward. Again, we're using, we're saving some uh, Certus Quartz. Uh, well, actually, we're saving redstone, Certus Quartz, and charged Certus Quartz, nether quartz, isn't it, to make this. So that's why I do it that order. So all we need to do now is to make, you see little flashes down here. Um, that up. So I just need two pistons. And I should have two pistons in here. I have, yes, good. I'll end up making a lot more of these. We'll probably need five. I think five is the standard we need. Um, we need some slime balls to make them that way and I think we've got everything else we need so let's just come along here and put it onto here like this so two of those and they go at the top and the bottom don't they if I remember rightly one of these goes here and then the rest of this is just iron nope I missed, messed up something what have I messed up inscriber oh okay one piece of iron is not in the right place. So we have our first inscriber. And that completes that quest. Let's have a look. Um, so we've completed this one. We get uh, an enderpool. Actually, that's nice. I've got space for an enderpool in my inventory just about. Really what I'll do. Let's put all of the stuff that I've got in here. Wrong, wrong chest. All of the stuff in here. Let's put it away. So we've got the inscriber and we've got only crystals. I really want to put the crystals away, didn't I? That should allow us to have enough space to collect the rewards. Let's have a look at the rewards. Let's claim the reward for that one. Let's go to the next one up here. The charger, we get four charged Certis Quartz. Was it Certis Quartz? No, Certis Quartz, okay. The energy acceptor, we get five chicken noodles. 
I always like these food requests uh, ones. And then we get four tiny TNTs. I'm not quite sure we get tiny TNTs so early on. And then we get some banana cream pie. And lastly for this one, we get uh, some Sluix crystals. Okay, 12. Which is probably a good thing too, because we'll put those straight into there like that. And I must have picked up the other items because they were floating at the top. Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we will carry on with Applied Energistics. Um, and in between episodes, I will make some more inscribers. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.